If someone discovers a fossil, which isn't exactly like any other fossil, there is the temptation to call it a new species. One must be careful, however. For example, sometimes two fossils which are similar but not identical simply represent natural variations in a population, so it is not a new species, but two members of a variable species. Sometimes there are differences between males and females, and so two fossils may not be two different species, but rather males and females of the same species. Sometimes there is a difference between a larva and an adult, so two fossils may not represent two separate species, but differences between a larva and an adult. Sometimes the process of fossilization will change a specimen so that two specimens which look different may have been similar in life but changed over uh, the process of fossilization. And so not all fossils which appear to be different should be considered as separate species.